Today, there's going to be no deep, insightful eBay thoughts, just straight, unadulterated eBay sales and an awesome car boot sale haul, which has got an absolute board game grail in it. Let's get on with it. Hey guys, Ian the Master of Pieces here. I'm a part-time eBay reseller and I needed the weekend that I've just had. I mean, sales have been pretty good. They've been above average for sure. I mean, Friday was good, Saturday dipped a bit, but today, Sunday, it's kind of saved the whole weekend. So I'm pleased with how much money I've brought in, but more importantly, I just needed the boot sale that I had on Saturday. The past couple of boot sales have been just bang average, haven't they? I mean, I know the items that I've shown you, they're just real stock, just bulk items. Stuff which is important for me and stuff that I need to keep my business ticking over and bringing in the amount of money that I want to bring in. But it's just not particularly inspiring. You go to the boot sale and think, right, I'm going to pick up some more just general tat again. But this Saturday, I found a grail of a board game. And it's not Hero Quest, by the way. It is another, well, whatever you want to call it, a bolo banger. It's one of those board games that when you see it, it makes your heart kind of like beat like that because you know you've seen something good. And actually, one of the last sales of this board game is on about £120. And that was the end of January. So I'm excited by how how well, what potential my board game could bring but actually i don't want that one just to take the shine away from the other items i picked up because i've picked up four or five good items that would yeah obviously not command that price but still are very very worthwhile items so i will run through everything i picked up in the boot sale later on but first up let's check out what sold on friday so it's been a decent Friday. I've sold six things in total, but it's a nice bit of variety and some of them have got a nice bit of value to them as well. But before we go into Friday sales, this one crept in under the radar late Thursday night. It's called Stay Alive by MB Games. And remember in my last video, I said, if you see MB Games on an old box, it's worth your time just having a little check of it. Now this one is 100% complete with the instructions, but the box is really ratty. Someone's written their um, name on there as well. But even so, it's gone for £11 plus postage. Doesn't sound like too much, right? But I only got this for a couple of quid in the boot sale last week. So that's sold within five or six days. But when I woke up Friday, right? I think this is my sale of Friday already. And I kind of woke up to it. And it's this pair of old school Total 90 Nike football boots. Now, the main reason why I enjoyed this sale is because I saved these from going into the bin, sorry, the recycling in the charity shop. When I went out the back, had, had a look around the shelves, I saw this in, in their bin bag and I was like, why are you throwing those out? Well, the thing is, they don't have the insoles and also they're starting to crack underneath there. But hey, with old school boots like this, stuff like that doesn't really matter. You know, people might have them purely for a collection, if you're into that thing, nostalgic reasons, or maybe they're just buying like their old school favorite boot for one last hurrah. Who knows? But either way, I think I got them either for free or for like a, just a donation into the tin, something like that. And these are going on the global shipping program over to Australia for £25 plus postage. And actually they paid about 50 quid for them, which, isn't a bad price for those if you had the the total 90 air zooms yeah you're looking for 100 pounds plus for them so even so i saved these from the bin and got some nice money for them as well next up we've got a couple of jurassic park dinosaurs here now, individually, they don't seem to sell for that much. So I did bundle them together before Christmas, hoping to get a bit more value and just left them. And I had an offer today come in, £13 plus postage. So I just accepted them. I would have paid, what, £1 each, maybe something like that. Can't remember. But yeah, nice sale. This is not particularly glamorous. Bundle of scale electric track. I've got 10 pieces here, six straights, four curves. That's gone for £12.50 plus postage. Yes, I, I am going to keep an eye out for scale electrics track. It doesn't make good viewing, but it's really easy to bundle up, pretty easy to post out. This one has been hanging around for ages, and this was one of the items that I delisted and sold similar to give it a fresh start. It's 
it's not an old Care Bear, but it is in reasonable condition, 2014. It's only gone for £6.50 plus postage, but thank goodness he is finally gone. This one, another one from the boot sale last week. I paid 50 pence for this Furby. It is a Furby Buddies, is it? Yeah, you can see on the back, Furby Buddies, when you can't see it. It doesn't have any electronics in it. It's basically a um, bean bag from 1999. 50 pence, that's gone into £9.50 plus postage. Again, selling in under a week. And the final, final sale to show you today. And I absolutely love these. Remember when I picked these up, these, these Hulk kind of gloves here, awesome push the buttons they, they kind of make a sound it, there is a little bit bit of damage under there but i paid a couple of quid in the charity shop and these are gone for 13 pounds plus postage i do not know how i'm going to pack them i'm just gonna to have to get a really big box aren't i but either way i'd better get inside and start packing all this stuff up right let me show you what i picked up on saturday morning at the boot sale and i will save the bolo board game right to the end of the pickups I've got, I want you to see everything else. I don't want you to just look at that and then dive off. But actually, if you want to just skip to it, go for it. Anyway, first up, I bought a pair of high top vans and I did pay up for these. I paid seven pounds for these and I bought these because they're my size. I bought these to keep and actually get a bit of um, use out. But high top vans generally do pretty well. And these ones looking at sold listings, I'd be looking for about 20 pounds plus postage. So even at seven quid, when I get a bit of use out of them, I can sell them on and still make a bit of money off them. So yeah, good start. And actually, while we're on the theme of vans, I saw these as well. Check these out. Now, these are UK size 8. But you know what? Stuff like this, when you see this in a charity shop, is usually priced pretty high. Vans in charity shops around me are about 7 or £8. Pounds, and that takes away any type of profit. So I do tend to steer away from picking them up. But these were only a pound. So if I can get a tenner plus postage out of them, it's more than worth it. And I think just the, the uniqueness, the colours of that will make them sell, particularly with like summer months coming up. Next up, I, I, I've always got to have a little rummage around the kind of dinosaur bins, particularly when you find little schleck dinosaurs like this. This is an Allosaurus. I paid 50 pence. Good thing about this is blue and uh, red paintwork. Now, typically these come yellow and um, yellow and green and they go for about six or seven quid. That particular paintwork, I might be able to get a tenner for in plus postage. Next up, we had a Power Rangers Morpher and I paid three pounds for this. Tested and working. I won't turn on um, the sounds, but it's not particularly old. 2018 this was and I paid, like I said, three pounds. This should go for about 18 pounds plus postage. So nice little find that. Now, before any of you guys f just feel sorry for me about losing those Hulk gloves, I found another pair, but these ones are even better. Look at these. These are actual like real soft ones. You can hit things. And this one, Hulk smash! Oh, it just makes noise and they're so good. There's a few threads on them. Doesn't really matter. These are from 2008. I paid three pounds for them. These are, these are worth more than the Ragnarok gloves I showed you before. These should go for 18 or 19 pounds plus posters, but we are keeping those. We're keeping them. Now, this is just a little reminder that we should all still be checking sold listings, even if you've picked stuff up before. And I bought this NFL jigsaw here. It's a nice retro 500 piece. That is a Miami Dolphins kind of um, team strip there. Now, remember back in lockdown when everyone was just buying jigsaws, they were so hard to find just in the shops. I sold an NFL jigsaw like this for about 25 pounds plus postage. Now I paid 50 pence for this. Didn't even check sold listings because I it just stuck in my mind because you think 25 quid for that. Well, these are going for about a tenner now. So it does go to show that, you know, items do have ups and downs and that's probably found its right level, 10 pounds plus postage. And the last thing in the bag here, this is a bit of a personal grail for me. We have found another Thomas the Tank Trackmaster, but it's one of the ones where you put water in and then, and then he um, puffs out steam. Now, I've had one of these before, but an older one. I sold that for just under 20 quid. And actually, I got negative feedback on that one because there was a bit of hair tangled around one of the axles, which I made clear in the photos. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This one, right, I paid £3 for. It is slightly newer. It is a bit battered. I should be looking for £18 plus postage for that one. Right, I'll put this bag on the floor because now we're getting onto some bigger items. This was a nice little find. 
and I only picked some of these up um, last Wednesday back at the um, back at the charity shop. It's more of those connectables, mash box. Obviously, got the box here, but it does come with a little airport, and it's got all of these cars plus extra. I paid six pounds for that box, but what I'll do is I will revise my other listings and add this box and all the stuff to the other listings, and I will be looking for about fifty pounds all in. So six pounds I paid for this, five pounds for the other lot, eleven pounds, hoping to get fifty pounds plus postage for all of that. Next up, we have got some other board games, not the Bolo board game, but I did find Whack Attack, and I've sold this before. This is a classic. I used to have this when I was younger. Really good fun game for um, the kids. They 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 love it. Um, it's a great one because when you see it out there, it's easy to check if it's all there. It's only got five of these things, a hammer and like a timer, and it's easy to check it works. So I um, I found this, he wanted four pounds for it. This is worth about 20 to 22 pound 50 plus postage in that range. So I felt pretty good about the board games and he had another couple, right? So I found this, I saw this one was under the uh, Whack Attack. That's why I picked it up. Big Tony logo, didn't even check it out. That's worth about £15 plus postage, but it, this one doesn't have all of the little pieces in. There's lots of little bits in there, so yeah, some, some, some of them are missing. Even so, I should be looking for, it won't go for the 15 plus postage, maybe a tenner, we'll see. And then an old school Hungry Hippo game here, look at that. That is retro, isn't it? Now, if this was all complete, um, that would be worth about £20 plus postage, but it's only got half the balls, and actually a couple of these hippos don't like have the like bite movement on so that one I can't really sell but I bought all of those board games for £10 that's what we negotiated on perhaps I should have just gone for the whack attack but I knew I was making a lot of profit off it so I was happy to take the risk on some of these other games right now on to this right and this is a board game guys you need to be looking out for wherever you go what we've got here is from 1986 MB Hotel Looks pretty nondescript really, doesn't it? But like I said at the start of, it, of the video, the last complete sold one, end of January, went for £120 plus postage. But be warned, if you find this out in the wild, there are so many small little bits in here. The chances of yours being complete are pretty slim to none. And this isn't complete. There are some basic pieces missing. But the great thing about this being such kind of a high value game is if is people sell off the parts and I've actually been able to source all of the missing parts off of eBay, paying a couple of quid for each missing bit. But the, th the thing, right, the, the, the thing that everyone looks for in the listing is there's a little town hall there. You can see it on the box. And outside of that town hall are two small lampposts. It's got nothing to do with the game whatsoever. But whenever you construct all of these little buildings, you've got to put these two little lampposts into the base. And those always go missing. They always get snapped. And actually, those two lampposts are recorded on the item list. So if you haven't got them or they're broke, yours is technically not complete. So all the soul wins for big money, say, include lampposts. This does have the lamppost. It's got like some basic cars and some basic counters missing, but it's got the lamppost. I couldn't believe that. So yeah, really, really chuffed to find it. Look, this has been this has been through the ringer a bit. The box is battered. Some of these buildings inside battered. I will be looking, once I get the bits to finish this off, for about £60. Now, I paid £6 for this. And actually, I got this with the connectables and the Thomas the Tank for £15 all in. Struck a deal with it. I mean, you don't come across this very often. So I'm really, really pleased to have found it and actually be able to share it with you as well. So keep an eye out for the hotel. So, yeah, really, really successful boot sale. It was a boot sale I needed to build the confidence back up after the last couple of them. So, yeah, I'll definitely be going next Saturday now. Right, let's find out what sold on eBay for the rest of the weekend. So sales on eBay this weekend has been really hit and miss. Saturday I only had one sale and it was only these here. Three dolls with a couple of dresses. I paid 50 pence a doll. They're all they're all um, D Disney ones. They've only gone for eight pounds plus postage. So a bit of profit, but a bit of an underwhelming Saturday, right? But 
Sunday just saved the day and I've had eight sales on Sunday and the main headline is it's nine sales across the weekend and that is the main thing. So Sunday sales to kick it off in this crunchy bag here we got some Fisher Price, Snow White and the Seven Dwarf figures there. They are for um, toddlers. I paid three pounds. I've still got the still got the sticker on there. They've gone for twelve pound fifty plus postage. These make really nice bundles, and I think Snow White is coming out in a new film as well soon. So might have a bit of um, interest back on that kind of brand, black franchise. Next up, disc only, Nintendo Wii Super Mario Brothers. It's always going to be a fast, quick seller if you get the price right. I sold that for one for £8.50 plus postage, which is the lowest on eBay, but they sell with the box for about 11 or 12 quid. So yeah, I thought that was pretty fair. Next up, I bought 30 of these books for nine quid. So for ease of maths, 30 pence each. And those four there, Sweet Valley High books. These are retro. These are, what are they, 80s? Late 80s, 90s? They are retro. Those four books, consecutive numbers, 95 through to 98, have gone for £7.50 plus postage. So what I have done to sell these off, I've bundled them in consecutive numbers. And yeah, hopefully, you know, whenever someone's finished those four, they might go and buy the next four. So yeah, should be making a nice bit of profit off those. Keep an eye out, Sweet Valley High books. This one I only showed you, was it last video, I think? I picked this up for two pounds in the charity shop. It's the low Alpine XL kind of, it's not a fleece, it's a waffle material. Um, and yeah, that has gone for 18 pounds, no, 16 pounds plus postage. It was up for 21, they offered 15. I counted at 18, they said 16. So you know what, I was happy with the profit. Two pounds into 16 and it's sold within a week. I don't want stuff like that hanging around. Next up. This is an example again of one of the listings that was on my eBay store for over a year. Delisted, relisted, and it's sold. What we've got here is a Transformer. This is from the Revenge of the Fallen film. Um, it's called Breakdown, not one of the big ones, but even so, he's gone for £7 plus postage. Couldn't even tell you what I paid. Probably come from a big Transformers bundle. This was a nice sale here. We have got an old school Garfield. He's a bit tangled up, but he's got a parachute. So when you throw him in the air, he kind of floats down. I paid three pounds at the boot sale. And this is going on the global shipping program to America for 25 pounds plus postage. Keep an eye out for your Garfield stuff. The bonus is this has still got its tag on. The eyes and the nose are in good conditions. They're plasticky. So they get scratched quite, quite quickly, quite, um, quite uh, easily. Yeah, old school. Keep an eye out for Garfield. This next one was a bit of a fail. And I bought these Bionicles at the boot sale a couple of weeks ago. I paid four pounds each. Um, but the lady said that they were complete and I've bought stuff off her before and it always has been complete. Fortunately, these were not. I mean, some of them were complete. They had all the pieces, but some of them were the, were the wrong color pieces. So it's, I, I wouldn't class that as complete, complete. Some of them just didn't have them or whatsoever. So I paid four pounds each, so that's 16 pounds. I've sold them for 17 pounds as a bundle plus postage. So after all fees, I've lost money. I'd like to say we had fun building them, but they were a bit fiddly for my for, for my son, so I ended up building them. But either way, they've gone. Lesson learned. I mean, it's always a risk, isn't it? Buying buying secondhand Lego or board games, whatever. You don't you've got to expect the pieces not to be there. And the final sale, right, is this Olympus Mew. 300 digital camera now i paid five pounds in the charity shop for this it's got everything in it but the battery's dead um so i've made it very very clear that it needs a new battery i've charged it i've tried it doesn't hold a charge whatsoever so that sold for 15 pounds plus postage so either way a nice little market from my five quid it took about two months to sell so it hasn't really hung around too long either Right, so guys, that's it. Really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the char um, charity shop boot sale pickup. Enjoyed, enjoyed just what sold in general. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll catch up with you in the next one. See you guys. Bye-bye.